we do a mag check? We did. Oh, do, oh, okay. For some reason, a skip. I don't even remember it. I've been looking at this. Oakdale traffic, Cessna 24895 is departing on way 28 to the north, Oakdale. Final is clear, the runway is clear. And stay on the dotted line here. You are good to go, sir. Engages. Air speed's and alive. There's our rotation. And there's our, finally our liftoff. visibility today. What was that? Good visibility for the for the valley. Yeah. That's really good. Because it's gonna be a little breezy. Yep. Alright. Looks like you're turning on course here. Should be good. Got a little fog in the foothills. Yeah. Why does it get foggy every time we fly? <laughs> That is a good question. It doesn't usually get foggy over here either. Well, if we need to, we could always divert somewhere else, but... Oh, I think we'll be okay. We're just going to have some nice scenery over the fog here. For sure. And it should burn off too, huh? At some point here pretty soon. Tracking three degrees right now. Ground speed of 92 knots. About 43 minutes till our destination. So come over maybe a little bit to the left, getting off line there a little bit. Probably won't make a big difference though. So. Eh. Although you're probably going to be coming in this way, huh? No, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just just skirting staying, around it, skirting around the the fog there. Yep. But it looks like we're going to be over it anyway. Yeah. So. Yep. We'll make your EFB happy. We'll yep. Pull over here a little bit. Take a listen on Auburn's frequency and see what's, uh, if we hear anybody. Still precessing quite a bit, huh? Yeah. We've got to check it every few minutes. Yep. There we go. Winds 120 at 5 knots over there right now. Sky conditions clear. Awesome. Yep. Looks good enough to fly into. Auburn traffic. Two levers turning down with 7 at Auburn. Awesome, awesome. Auburn traffic. Two levers base 7 full stop. 
Over traffic, two brothers, Sierra's final seven and over. Beautiful. Yep, working good. Above this fog, but I can see the ground through it, so yep. I feel comfortable. Yep. If I couldn't see the ground, I wouldn't feel comfortable. We'd be going up the valley. For sure. No, it, we've got we've got some holes. Got some holes that we're looking through. This will burn off in no time, too. Should, at least. Laker will be coming over here. Valley Springs. New Hogan Reservoir. I'll make your airplane happy. <laughs> I'll get back over here. There we go. I think I have a heavy right foot. Keep having to pick it up off the rudder. Yeah. You're right-handed? Well, my, my RANS used to pull to the left a little bit, uh, so I always flew with a little You're used little to that foot right my, foot. Yeah. And yep. then, it's just hard hard to get over. Oh, yeah. The 172 pulls to the left quite a bit, too, so... Yeah, I even put a trim tab on it, and it still didn't help. Oh, really? Yeah. Hopefully that missionary that's flying it will figure something out. Yeah, I read your recent post on that. So with the... Uh, when he sent you a video or something like that, or you posted something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he posts videos every once in a while. Does he? Yeah, it looks like it's working out pretty good for him. Yeah. Cool that it could be used for that, you know? I mean, who knew? Yeah, who knew? I, I wanted to do missionary flying and just never was able to. Yeah. So it's good this guy could. I know. That is good. Using it for the Lord. It's a perfect backcountry airplane, too, you know? Yeah. It's pretty good. Do you ever um, put bigger tires on there, or no? Did you keep it? No, I never did, because I couldn't afford it, but right. um, they did. They yeah. put bigger tires on it. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Like there were some bigger tires. And uh, he's also talked to the guy that um, I was talking to about putting a different landing gear on it. And then the guy said, "No, I'm not interested. We're not. We're not going to make that gear for the S6. He makes it for the S7, the tandem. Um, and uh, so I just kind of never pursued it. But this missionary guy just started talking to him, and I guess pulled his arm enough that uh, he's he's making that landing gear for the, uh, really the S6. Cool. So he's putting the landing gear on that I was going to put on. Really? And uh, the big tires. So." He's turned it into the, the plane I had envisioned. Well, there you go. There you go. Kind of need those big tires, though, in that, in that back country where he's flying and those, those uh, dirt strips and stuff. Yep. Well, I am starting to lose sight of the ground. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more solid, isn't it? About uh, three miles west of the field, 2,300 hundred down on it. So I am going to pull out to the west here a little bit. See if we can get around it. This is where your course line says I want to be anyway. Yeah. It looks like we got plenty of time to get over this stuff. That's what I was thinking, too, yeah. You have it tuned into Auburn right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're hearing Auburn people. Yep. Auburn pilots. Auburn pilots committing aviation. Yep. There we are. Back on the chart. Center County traffic. Uh, Symphony 639, sir. Alpha is 10 miles to the west, Center County. Yeah, 
I can see a little more ground over this way, so I feel a little more comfortable over here. Yeah. We might just be going over just a thick spot there for some I reason. So. Yeah. I was trying to get a picture of our halo over here on the cloud. Where's that? It's out my window. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see it. No. There we go. It's breaking up. Clearing up. Doesn't sound too busy over there in Auburn right now. I'm hoping that's not because it's foggy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Hoping it's because everybody's at soccer practice. Yeah. Center County traffic. Symphony 6390 Alpha is five miles to the west. Uh, be planning on a 45 entry for one seven right uh, one seven uh, Center County. Although right now it seems like prime breakfast time almost. Yeah. Restaurant will be crowded when we get there. Yep. A lot of people drive in. Do they really? Kind of like Lodi, that restaurant out there. Yep. Yep. I mean, I did. <laughs> did you really? Christy and I were taking a trip up to Grass Valley, up Highway 49. We stopped off at Auburn and had breakfast for okay. lunch. Yeah, I've never been there before, so... Sounds like it's a popular place, though. Center County traffic. Symphony 639 Star Alpha entering left downwind, or right downwind, 17 uh, Sutter County. Messed up your straight and level there. What's that? Messed up your straight and level for a second there. Yeah, that's all right. Coming back, though. Try to stay on your course line as much as I can. Yep. How's the precessing going? Better kind of traffic. Yeah. Uh, it's still going, but still going. Right. Uh, keeping an eye on it. Where's Cameron Park? Are we anywhere near? Oh, we've got quite a ways to go. All Cameron right. Park. Yeah. It's where all those uh, houses are on the airfield over there and that kind of that pilot community. Yeah, there's uh, also a, a big peak that sticks out right near there that's got a radio tower on it that makes a great landmark. Oh, okay. I'm looking out front for that. Auburn traffic, Skyhawk 3814, Sierra 10 miles to the southwest, level 3000, inbound, from my 7, Auburn. Runway 7. Traffic, Alpha, 517, full stop, Center County. Here, let's see what the, well, see what the wind's doing up there. Traffic, Eagle 255 Alpha is 5 miles northwest, uh, about for landing, Center County. Maybe it's changed since I last checked it. Oh, yeah. One two zero at six. So also seven. Better county. Symphony six three nine zero. I can. Do you mind leaving the uh, symphony out and I'll hang her the eagle and then take the symphony back over to Marysville? You got it. There a USB hookup over there. There used to be at least. U USB? USB hookup. We used to have one sticking out of there, I think. But, not there. Hopper traffic, Scott Hawk, 7-0. What's that? His transmission was kind of garbled. Mm -hmm. Sounded like left-hand traffic, runway 7. <laughs> nice. 
21 minutes. 20. Sutter County traffic. Eagle C5 Echo Alpha, 45 to right downwind 17 Sutter County. Auburn. Should be just above Eagle's nest right there right now. So 7 is this guy. Yep. So they are landing to the east. Okay. Eagle 25 Echo Alpha, right downwind 17 Sutter County. Auburn traffic, Skyhawk 3814 Sierra, 3 miles to the southwest, level 3000, over flying the field, joining left traffic, runway 7 Auburn. Picking up, get busy. People are awake now. Yeah. I don't hear them stepping on each other's transmissions, so. Well, that's good. They're yeah. not that busy yet. Right. <laughs> When they start stepping on each other, that's when it's busy. <laughs> it's going to be like going into Oshkosh. Yep. The thing is, though, when you go into Oshkosh, you're not supposed to talk really, right? I mean, it's all pretty nope. much them just calling you out. Don't say a word. Yep. Not once. All the way to taxi and shut down. You never say a word. Just too many people. Yeah. Yeah. But you still, you get these idiots that come on there haven't oh, read yeah. the note they down. haven't done it before. and. Osh, cost approach, this is sus and all, whatever. And they're very patient, and they just tell them, okay, radio silence, do this, do that. That's weird, because you would think that, that a fly-in like that, you'd really want to know what you're doing, so you'd you know, study communication procedures and everything to get in there. And yeah, you'd think. Yeah. Although, it's pretty much just a known, too, that you don't do that, you know? Even I know that I haven't been in there before, just by watching the videos and you telling me and everything like that, you know? Yeah. That is the easiest busy airspace you'll ever fly in. Is it? What class of airspace is it when it's not Oshkosh? <laughs> it's just class D. It's class D. Just, just wow. like Modesto. Wow. Pretty easy. Just join the line of traffic in there. Fly to Ripon, find somebody and follow them. Wow. And then you fly up the railroad tracks when they when you get to the Fisk intersection. Yep. Um, they're, they're down there with binoculars, you know, checking out all the airplanes, you know. White high wing, rock your wings, and then, then they'll tell you what to do from there. Mm. And then once you land, you get a sign telling them where you want to go. You just write it on a big Sharpie, you know. Yeah, I've seen that on the YouTube videos. You hold it up. GAC for general aviation camping, HBC for home built camping. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, you just hold the sign up, and then they just keep directing you wow. all the way to your parking spot. That's pretty easy, actually, when you think about it, huh? It's super easy. Yeah. Auburn Shop, Skyhawk 38140, left downward runway 7. Sure, if, I'd ever, if I ever go in there, I'm sure I'll be sweating bullets the whole way, though, because, <laughs> you know, first time and everything like that, if I ever do it. Oh, yeah. funny, you hear about these guys on YouTube, you'll watch the videos and stuff like that, and you'll, you'll see these guys having to go around multiple times to get the, like, actually get in the traffic line and stuff going in there because they miss it or something like that. Yeah, well, that's true. That If you go in there during peak times, yeah. like right before an air show starts or right after one ends, yep. there's a good chance they're going to send you out over the lake and make you circle. Come back around, yep. Yeah. I usually planned it so that I got there fairly early in the morning, like around 8 o'clock. Yeah, that's what I do, too. And depart fairly early, like around 8 o'clock. Yeah, get out before the rush. Yep. Because if you're in the rush, you could be sitting down there with your engine on for a long time, you know, just... Yeah. yeah. Well, you're going to be taxiing for a long time anyway. Yeah. Yep. The radio's getting quiet again. I'm not sure if that's just the other guy's transmission or this radio. Because I just heard this other guy transmitting on Auburn, and it's really and it just super quiet. quiet. Okay. Well, we could try another station. You want to try maybe like Sacramento or something like that, see if we can pick up anybody over there. Uh, that's, uh, what you got for NorCal approach? Let's see here. Oh, we're, we're covering the uh, thing there. Oh, sorry. 127.4, oh, yeah. how about that? Yep, 127.4. Final 7, Oh, there we go, it's working. 
we can try it anyway. Yeah, why not? Uh, nobody talking on North NorCal right now. No. Okay, I think I see Cameron Park. Where's that at? That's uh, uh, I think that's right. It's right up here. Oh yeah. So we're. It's actually. Yeah, you're right. Yep, that's it. Nice. That's cool. Heard about it, but never really seen it from the air. It's a pretty big community, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's all the fly-in community, but the, right. Well, the runway looks you like it's on the northern part of the... Yeah, you should see it on your side. Oh, the runway. Yeah. I think Bill was working on the radio Thursday or Friday. So, and I think he finished it last night, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's Highway 50. Gonna be flying over that. Oh, yep, right there. And Wilson Lake. Yep, there's the golf course down there. Okay, there's the runway over there. Auburn traffic, Cessna 2489 or 5 is about 10 miles to the south, looking for an airport advisory, Auburn. Traffic approaching Auburn. We're uh, Cessna 172. We're approximately 10 south, also at 3,000 feet. Oh, okay, Cessna. We're about uh, 3,000 feet and 10 miles south, also. We're uh, right over the uh, eastern arms of Folsom Lake, uh, right over that peninsula there. Uh, we're going to be close. We're going to make a left turn here. Stay out of your way. All right, we're looking for you on the radar. That don't mean nothing. He's out there. Yep. Could be right under us. Okay, yeah, traffic approaching Auburn, uh, Cessna 172. We're about uh, six south of the airport. And we are showing about uh, seven, so hopefully uh, we're no factor. We're still looking for you. Uh, we have you in sight. You're off of our, our right wing. Oh, he's over there. Did he say six from the airport? Yeah. Okay. So he should be up here somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the Cessna flying into Auburn, uh, how are you going to approach? Are you going to enter on a left crosswind? Um, and we're still looking for you. Uh, we were going to get a little closer and check. I think the winds are at four. We're going to land two five. Okay, 2-5. Yeah, I have you in sight now. Um, looks like we're, I think that's you. Looks like we're no factor. All right, you, why don't you go ahead? I got a student pilot here. We'll make a uh, left 360 and follow you in. Okay, we're just now descending down to pattern altitude, so. Yeah, roger that. We'll follow you in. I think that's uh, Auburn. Uh, uh, yep, there he is. He's making his turn. Oh, there he is, yep. Right by the pedo tube. Yep, I see him. And Cessna doing the 360, we definitely have you in sight. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go on a uh, left downwind for uh, uh, the westbound runway. Uh, roger that. We'll follow you in. Thanks. So, traffic. And the westbound runway is too far. Traffic pattern altitude for me should be about 2,500, I believe. Well, it's traffic up to 7, left downwind, 15, or over. Hold on here. 2538. 
And Auburn traffic, Cessna 248-905 is going to be turning on a left 45 for runway 25, Auburn. You go back to the uh, oh, yeah. map view. I want to make sure I'm calling the right runway out. 25, yeah. Yep. Skippy, looking good. Except the sun's going to be right in your face, huh? Uh, just for a little while. And Auburn traffic, Cessna 8905 is turning left down wind, runway 25, Auburn. Traffic says uh, 1870 Victor entering on a 45 for a left down wind runway 25, number two in the pattern. Auburn. T is still indicating runway 7. Is it? But we'll give it a go. Yep. If we have to go around, just go around. Yeah, we can always go around. Yep. Auburn traffic, Cessna 8905 is turning left base, runway 25, Auburn. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. We got a little bit of a tailwind, and oh, we're going no. downhill. Yep.
Auburn traffic, Cessna 895 is clear of the active Auburn. And Auburn Unicom uh, 70 Victor turning final, runway 25, Auburn full stop. This is 895 on the ground, you can have a little bit of a tailwind there. Uh, roger that, thanks. Welcome to Auburn. Here we are. A lot of airplanes, huh? Yeah. Man, there's a lot of airplanes here. There's a lot of folks based here. Is there? Yeah. This is a busy airport. Looks busy. See, busy. wind T was indicating seven. So is the wind sock. Yep. He's doing the same thing we did. Yep. Up and down, up and down. Whoa, there we go. Antonov AN2 there. Yep. Interesting looking airplane. Yep. Almost kind of ugly, but it's. Thing stalls at like 20 miles an hour. Does it really? Oh my gosh. A little 152. Maybe a 150 actually. Smells good, huh? That pine smell. And the blue tees are for transient. All right. Turn the strobe off, landing light off, radio off.